Pisces. I'm here to give you a reading for May 2019. Let's get to this. This is a general collective reading. It's not going to resonate with all you guys. Yada, 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 right? So make sure that you subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, hit the notification button. In the description box below is a link to my Instagram account. From there, you can check out my pricing and you can DM me directly through Instagram if you'd like to book a reading. Scene. There we go. Let's go ahead and dive right into this. The readings have been pretty good, you know? Um, the energy has been awesome, where action is starting to take place. Um, karmic lessons are being learned, the transition phase, and now it's all about coming out of your cocoon and becoming a butterfly. I know that sounds cliche, but that's kind of like the best way to describe it, or like you're a snake shedding its skin. You know, like Taylor Swift does whenever she drops a new album. It's like that. What do I want? Okay. So, come on, Pisces. Let's get to this. Big whammies, big whammies. No whammies, no whammies. Big money, big money, right? So, come on, Pisces. One, two, three. Okay. Good, good. So, the bottom of the deck I have is the Empress card reverse. Oh, by the Ace of Wands here. Yeah, you're just, all you're doing is like you're thinking with your privates, you're thinking with your dick, and you think this person is like the love of your life and they're just fucking trash. This, this person has like, they don't even really have a heart. They're so detached from themselves and the universe. They're, all they are, they focus on themselves. I'm seeing some sort of creative blockage as well. Like this harmony. There may be like an unwanted pregnancy, like a miscarriage. There is some sort of frustration and I'm sensing it's a sexual frustration. Somebody's not getting laid. So somebody may be feeling like frumpy where all they're doing is like wearing sweatpants. They just like roll around in a Snuggie or whatever, you know, they don't feel attractive. You know, your partner may want, not want to touch you. We'll go ahead and find out further what's going on. Come on, Pisces. So the bottom of the deck, it is the Wheel of Fortune here, which is awesome. It's a 10, it's a completion. So there's good fortune coming your way. It's going to be slowly gradual, but you have to get out of this shit, right? And you're not feeling good about yourself. You're not feeling confident within yourself or with your relationships with others. Let me go ahead and... Just examine. Okay. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. All right. So I got the Queen of Pentacles reversed. You may be dealing with a Taurus. You may be dealing with a Virgo. This is somebody that does not have their shit together. This is an emotional fucking cripple. This is somebody off the fucking deep end. Like they're like there's a disconnect like they're a sociopath that's like the best way to describe it like you or this individual is a sociopath like this person is like cold-hearted like this person has no maternal instincts like this person makes like a horrible mother you may be dealing with like a really shitty parent four 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 now, we do have the Knight of Pentacles here. So this is moving towards a new direction. Now, some of you may have lost your job and you kind of just feel like you're stuck in a rut where you're, there's no progress, nothing is moving forward in it. Um, 
but there is going to be a job offer. There is going to be, it'll be something that'll be made to you. And it may be like in agriculture, and maybe like in transportation. Um, could be dealing with food, plant life. This could be dealing with like construction too, anything with building with your hands. This is somebody slowly making a commitment towards something. They don't want to rush into it, right? It's like this person is emotionally unstable, but you still make an offer to them. Because of course, you're a Pisces. You want unavailable people. You want to fucking fix people, right? Now with the Cancer vibe here with the Chariot card, this is victory. You're moving forward in this. So you made an offer to this earth sign, to somebody that's just like, they just, they never have their shit together. And they're moving forward with it. They're deciding to take the offer. The seven, a cup's reversed. They're no longer confused. Somebody may be deciding to get clean. I'm seeing somebody going to rehab. Somebody may be telling you, like, you need to go to rehab. Like, and then you're just moving forward. Somebody's getting clean. Somebody's like, somebody's like laying off the psychedelics, the LSD. You're just taking a break from it. Some of you are just spending all your money into your habits, into your addictions. Now, could you think like you're clear headed now? Could just like you make this offer and they take it and you think, okay, they truly do want me, right? Out of all the people that they always fuck around with, they always come back to me. So like they've changed, like the 27th time is the charm, right? Wrong. So, nine of cups reverse. This is you not getting your wish. Uh, there's a lot of cups here. So, I'm seeing a very strong alcoholic. You can try to say that you drink, uh, you try, you try to say that you drink two beers a day, but it's really like you drink a six pack or a 12 pack a fucking day. And you're a functioning alcoholic. And I use that term loosely. Not for all, but for like a small percentage of you. And you'll know if this reading resonates, if that pertains to you. This is you not getting what you wish for, what you've been trying to manifest. This is only temporary. This is not long term. So they're choosing to be with you, but this is only for a temporary short period of time. Now you're going to feel good looking like a motherfucking rock star, right? Because it's like, hey, I made an offer. Because with the Ace of Pentacles here, it's like I made an offer. But like they don't have the strength to even deal with it. Now, for some of you, I'm seeing that some of you are celebrating because of a pregnancy and there may be a miscarriage. I'm seeing that you will be, there's a job offer that is going to be made to you where it's going to requ require long travel, requires you to relocate and maybe like a government contracted job. Um, you're going to think this job is going to be great. It's not exactly what you thought it was going to be. Um, yeah, there's success and it is a new beginning. It's a nice, good stepping stone and it's going to be some good income. You know, you're going to be purchasing a new home. You're re you're, there's definitely relocation here. Um, but you think that you're going to be able to handle the job, but you're not going to be able to handle it. Like the stress is going to be way too much for you. Some of you don't, if you're dealing with an addiction, you don't have the willpower. So I'm going to be using the Golden Oak Dodamas Oracle deck. So this is a new deck. And instead of doing an unboxing, I waited way too long. I wanted to play with it. So here we are. So these are additional messages that you need to hear, Pisces. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out four cards. Nice. One more card. Come on, Pisces, for May 2019. Okay. So, message one, which is 19, which is the castle. 
The headstrong bull pursue their hopeless dreams while coward never acts but only scheme. Be bold, passionate, and challenge yourself before challenging others. Be careful of being overconfident and be sure you are understand what your true aspirations are. Perfect. Now, the next card is number seven, which is Cupid. No matter how strong the force of reason, it is worth not when love is in season. Love is on the way with passion, nor transformation of negative passions into positive ones. Potential transformation of hope into love that you could bring into your life. See, I told you, you're going to find love. Now, number nine, it is lilies. If a man could see virtue... Petritude with love in his heart would soon be imbued. Now this card bears purity, noble sentiments, and reinforces virtual virtue and good luck. If placed near a negative card, it can reduce the negative effect. And 25, which is the fish. Once you have let gossip fly, these tales can never again be lie. Silence will bring counsel and will not expose you for the attacks of others. Stop often and think, stand still and reflect quietly. It will lead to discover of the right path to be taken. See, these are very good readings. So, um, so hopefully these, oh, I almost forgot. See, I've just been focusing on these readings. I forgot to give you your Rebel Deck reading. So let's go ahead and dive into that real quick. So here is your Rebel Deck reading. These are additional messages for my Pisces for May 2019. Now I'm going to go ahead and start taking cards. So what does the universe want me to curb stomp you spiritually with today? Okay. Alrighty then. So message one, they broke your heart. Fuck them. Get the fuck out of your head. Get in your heart. It misses you. It's dark. You can't see a fucking thing. Get your head out of your ass pronto. Believe what you see. Face reality or live in a fucking la-la land. Choose bravely. Take a shot. Don't take 12. Take one. Okay, maybe two. Move on. Stop talking. Shut your mouth and listen. One, two, three, four, right? So thank you, Pisces. Hopefully this reading resonated with you. Please comment down below if the reading resonated. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel, hit the like button. Thank you very much. I love you guys, Pisces. You guys are awesome. And, uh, titties.